Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. We're off to another frigid start here in southern Kentucky this morning, but things will warm up nicely later today with southwesterly winds, although the winds are going to be breezy at times and with low moisture and the low dew point levels, the gusty winds, the very dry conditions, there could be an elevated fire danger, especially back into western Kentucky, so please do not burn anything outdoors today. Here's a look at First Alert Live Doppler Radar. We're under a clear sky and at 11 degrees, at least it's a few degrees warmer than it has been the last few mornings. And later today, as we look at your hometown forecast, which is around the Green River Lake area, Campbellsville, you'll see a high today of 38. That's a little bit better, 37. Greensburg, 38 for Columbia. Some locations could actually hit the 40-degree mark before the day is done. By the way, the Kentucky Lottery Powerball jackpot for uh, Saturday night estimated to be at $171 million. Mega Millions estimated to be at $71 million. Here is a live view from our weather cam at uh, Independence Bank down Scottsville Road in front of the Bowling Green Airport. And there you see the clear sky this morning over South Central Kentucky at the airport. Current temperature is at 11 degrees, feels like 15. That can't be right. Feels like 15, feels warmer than the actual temperature. I'll double check that. But actually, the winds are calm at this hour with a rising barometer. Here we go checking some of the other temperatures around the area. We're seeing mainly single digits, even below zero readings with a snowpack on the ground in parts of West Virginia and on up into the New England states. 11 degrees, the current temperature now at the airport with 20s and 30s finally starting to show up back to the west. It's been a long time coming. As a matter of fact, as we get ready to wrap up the month of January, it's going to go down as one of the coldest Januaries on record for Bowling Green in southern Kentucky as uh, since 94. It's one of the coldest that we have seen. And of course, you remember January in 94. That's when we had the big ice storm here in southern Kentucky. Right now, temperatures are running 9 degrees warmer than we were yesterday morning at this hour. 10, 15, 20, 30 degree rises in temperature over 24 hours ago, which is a good sign to see. We are all clear right now, but clouds will generally increase today. Now, these are some thicker clouds coming in ahead of our next system. And as we go through the day, sunny to start, then some higher clouds as we move through time. As far as the radar, though, there's not a whole lot underneath the clouds until you head up, say, north of Kansas City, and that's where they're starting to see a little bit of light rain and even a little bit of a precipitation mix. And that's ahead of our next system. So we've got a pressure gradient here. In other words, we've got high pressure to our east. Then you've got an area of low pressure and a cold front back to the west. And the difference between the two, the high and the low, well, that's going to squeeze the atmosphere a little bit, and that's where you get these tight lines of pressure. We call them isobars, and that usually indicates where there's going to be some breezy, windy conditions. And that's going to be evident today with those southwesterly breezes helping us warm up to near 40, maybe even the low 40s, and even warmer than that the next few days. This front, though, is going to stall out a bit as high pressure hangs on, the ridge kind of blocking some eastern progress uh, for this front. And as a ripple of low pressure comes out of Texas and Oklahoma and Arkansas as we head into, say, Friday night, early Saturday morning, yeah, we do expect uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon some light rain showers, but we've taken out the mention of any kind of mixed precipitation at this point. It all appears that anything that falls should be just mainly light rain as temperatures will be above freezing. Mostly sunny, breezy, warmer today, near 40. Then for tonight, mostly cloudy, down to 29, all the way up to 46 tomorrow with that chance of mainly light rain showers in the afternoon, all the way to 56 on Saturday, but it's going to be kind of a rainy day. Now, some of the rain could end as a little sleet snow mix early Sunday morning as a somewhat cooler air comes in, but we're going to keep it in the 40s. The storm to watch, as we've been talking about, Tuesday night into Wednesday of next week, we could see a variety of rain or snow or even a mix. Too soon to say just exactly how that's going to play out. Well, we get a slight little break there on Monday right before we have to deal with whatever may come our way. Maybe it won't be so bad here if it's mostly rain. Of course, it's not going to be that bad, but uh, too many things are in question right now to say just for sure what's going to happen there.